10 flashcard games for young English learners. When teaching phonics or basic vocabulary to young students, we have to make it interesting to get them involved in class. Most teachers just read the word over and over again. But by using games, we will make it fun and they will get excited about coming to our class. Hi, I'm Eric from Edicude. If you would like more tips and ideas for your English class, please like and subscribe. And remember to watch until the very end because I've saved the best game for last. Number one, hide and seek. This is a fun game that students love. It's not very educational, but sometimes we need to make things fun so that students are excited to come to your class. Get four flashcards and put them in each corner of your classroom. Get one student to stand in the middle and blindfold that student. They have to count down from 10. While they are doing that, the other students have to go and stand in one of the corners. Once they reach zero, they have to shout out one of the flashcards. The students in that corner are out. Continue until there is only one left and they become the new leader. I know this game isn't that educational, but sometimes you've got a few minutes left, so it's a fun activity to do. Number two, musical chair flashcards. The students sit in a circle and you hand each one a flashcard. While you play the music, they have to quickly pass their cards around. Once the music stops, they have to quickly pick up a card, stand up and shout out the word. Another variation is to sit in the circle with your students and then take out a flashcard and send it around. You say it out loud, pass it to the next student, they say it, friend, friend, friend. Once they get used to that, you can start sending another card. Once the cards reach you, you can just put it down. This is a great game if you want them to practice saying something out loud. Number three, jump on it. Place cards all over your floor. Then put the students in groups of two or three. Say a word and one student from each team has to go and jump on the word. Points for the one who gets there first. Try to get them not to jump on each other's feet. You can also play this game by putting flashcards all over your board and then saying out a word and a student has to slap the correct card. Number four, slow, fast and lip reading. When working with young students, you want to over exaggerate your gestures and emotions that will get them excited and focused in class. So you can look at a card and then silently mouth the word. The first one to get it right gets a point. You can do a fast reveal. No need for the sound effects. Or you can do a dramatic slow reveal. What is it? What is it? What is it? Right, it'll get the students excited. Number five, over and under. Let the students line up, then take a card, read it out loud, hand it to the first student, and they have to say it out loud as they pass it overhead and then under, over, under, until it gets to the end and the last student has to read the card out loud. This is very much like telephone, but they get the card. Number six, easy, hard. Make a pile of two cards, easy and hard. Then, Put the students in groups and give each group 50 points. Students can then choose an easy card or a hard card. They can place a bet if they know it or not. One to five points for an easy card, six to 10 points for a difficult card. If they get it wrong, minus the points. If they get it right, plus the points. Then you can look at the card, give them a hint. If they don't get it in 10 seconds, subtract some points. Number seven, vanishing flashcards. Show the students some cards. You can use more cards if you want. Tell them to memorize the cards. Then 
close their eyes. Once their eyes are closed, take one card away and shuffle the rest. Students have to guess which card is missing. Number eight, basketball. This is another game purely for fun. Get students to take paper and make balls out of it. Then you show them a flashcard. If they shout out the word correctly, then they can try and shoot it into a basket. Points if they make it. This is especially for students who are sporty and love to be active. Number nine, tic-tac-toe. Make a big tic-tac-toe grid on your board. Put the students into two groups. Show a flashcard, they shout out. If they are right, they can put a big circle or an X depending what their team is. Don't worry if only one team gets a lot of answers in succession. Make three, give them a point, wipe out, new game. Actually, to be honest, you could use this game for anything. I just needed one more. And the last one, number 10, sumo. Get some clothes pegs and a flashcard. Pin it onto two students' backs and they have to try and maneuver to see their friend's flashcard and say it out loud. The first one to say their friend's flashcard wins. Remind the students not to grab each other, otherwise you'll see some real wrestling. Students love this game. Just remember to tell the students that if anybody gets hurt, the game is over. You want to reinforce your status as teacher in the classroom and make sure that your rules are being followed. Did you enjoy these games? What kind of activities would you like to see more of? Put your answer in the comments below. I'm Eric from Etiquid and I'll see you next time.